Welcome back to Mario Mondays, and now since uh, there's been an update, let's check out the event courses that came with that update. Why not? Super Yay. Mario Coon. Are these uh, the official developer Mario's courses, course. or are they something else? <laughs> the, no, these are actually made by famous people. Cool. Japanese celebrities and whatnot. Yeah, in fact, in fact, I the Super Mario Coon thing is actually from an offer of the ever popular Mario manga. So this is Cat Mario's Curse, uh, which is basically uh, made by the creators of the Cat Mario show, which you can watch on, well, on your Wii U or on YouTube. Even, uh, on, or even on the 3DS, actually. Mm -hmm. You can just download it from any shop. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's by the way, Pedro, did you, by the page, you do know that on these versions of levels, you can now use the spin hop from Super Mario World, you know, with the effect of spinning on more dangerous Whoa. stuff. I know, but I'm playing with the Wii mode then uh, yeah, using the. Wii the mode. Uh, I'm playing with the Wii mode and use and the spin with the Wii mode is shaking and I don't quite like oh. that. Oh, okay, You're using the Wii mode. Okay, fair enough. All right, so the way to get through this is Simple. there you go, the star. Oh. oh no, the level's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Wow. <coughs> I mean, what the? Oh, wow, the AD Tokyo really let themselves go, didn't they? They um, yeah. <laughs> the levels actually show falling apart. Actually, actually, actually if that one wasn't made this by EAD Tokyo, the EAD Tokyo only makes the 3D ones. Guys. <laughs> Cat Mario. And now Cat no. Peach's course. Oh yeah, that's right. Aren't you supposed to be able to get costumes by completing these courses as well? Yeah, he just uh, obtained the Cat Mario costume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the super the mystery mushroom for the Cat Mario, you mean? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Yeah. Speaking of which, good news, Dwibs and Pedro. I finally found my 3DS copy of Smash Bros. So soon we'll be able to get our Squirm Play Smash Bros. 3DS uh, typical videos soon up and going. Mm -hmm. Yay. Ah. Oh! Ah! Uh, simple. So, even celebrities aren't immune to, um... Dickory. <laughs> okay, don't worry, Shiroi, this is Dickory done right, though, because they actually give you oh at boy. least a good enough way to get out. Yeah, this actually is a, a pretty good, uh, well-made course. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, it's all about your timing and, um, yeah, there you go. Oh. Voila! <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause! We yes. need a little Ace Attorney um, Phoenix Wright Sprite to throw the confetti at Mario. Cat Peach. <laughs> okay, now to answer Dweb's question. Okay, so Super Mario Kun is actually a, a comic book, uh, or a manga rather. Um, yeah, it says so that's right made. There. That's made by Mr. Yukio Sawada, and this is a course that he made for specifically because of the 25th anniversary of that comic book. Ah, I love whatever. that comic book. Wasn't, it, wasn't it, uh, so was it, weren't some of the stra of this comic available <laughs> on Nintendo Power or some issues on Nintendo Power? Yeah, yeah. I think so. That, don't quote me on that. Though. Nintendo Power back in the day was pretty much the main means of viewing the comic. Well, especially if you lived outside of Japan at the time. I wish my country had something similar to Nintendo Power, but alas. <sighs> we well, over here, over here in Portugal, we have the Nintendo Special Magazine. That's what we get too. Wasn't it discontinued here in the UK? Um, I'm not entirely sure. We used to have at least. I don't. I, I, well, to be fair, actually, I haven't seen an issue of it on sale at, uh, for a long time. So maybe it was also discontinued here. <laughs> Well then again, oh. well then again, we the world has evolved. We have the internet. Who really needs magazines anymore? Um, yeah. Pedro, you'd be surprised. There are quite it's a few people a who don't part, have. But... There are quite a few people who don't have good internet connection. Not to mention the fact that some things actually do manage to still stay exclusive to magazines. Yeah, honestly, honestly, Joe, if I'm t if I'm gonna be totally honest, I mean, if you don't have money for consoles and video games, then you don't really uh, uh, like if you, if you don't have money. Sorry, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, if you don't have money for internet, then you probably don't even have money for consoles and games either. No, no, so. no, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. It's not just that, but a lot of regions and areas, even if you do have the money to get a good internet port, will still have crappy Wi-Fi because of the location. 
location, not so much the quality of stuff. Trust okay, me. Okay, then especially also rephrase, if you don't have enough money to buy a new house, you don't have enough money to buy video games. <laughs> and especially if you're no, someone no, no, who... No, no, no. Uh, so it's like a... Oh, so that reminds me of 2014 Xbox One. Uh, okay, yeah. what if I don't live in an area where I can get reliable internet? Then Microsoft will tell you to move somewhere else. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Same Microsoft thing if... will buy you a new house if you buy an Xbox One. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's, um, that's, that's how they could have got me to buy one. That it, reminds me, she, Roy, uh, actually, no, I'll bring um, it up later. It, exactly, okay. exactly. It's like, well, same thing if you're, like, with the military. I mean, well, several SSMB members who are with the military also do state that, you know, the military ain't exactly the best thing for Wi-Fi connection because of, you know, DMZ. Wait a minute. I, I, what, wait, what, wait a minute. Are you even allowed to bring video games to the... You'll be surprised, of course you are. Uh, you'll be surprised, Pedro. They actually get some kind of training by playing Call of Duty. I'm not even kidding. Yep. Uh, uh, yes, I believe, um, not to mention yeah. that, but so there's also the fact that. I think it was you who also called okay. it. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so unless it's. Mean? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Teo, but unless it's something like the VR missions in Metal Gear, I don't really see how video games can help. So, Teo, what you're saying well, is that Treyarch is helping protect well, the world. Well, okay, Pedro. One at a time, please. Well, Pedro, I hate to admit it, but Call of Duty does use a lot of tactics. <laughs> I mean, Grant no, and Nickel. Not really, true, it's linear it, it varies. Well. It varies. It varies. It varies. It's like, well, there are some Call of Duty games that actually do focus I on mean, teamwork on the, and on that on, on that side. Wait, battle Drive is Force much Heroes. Much Yes. yes, basically, this is a course based on the, the most recent Legend of Zelda game, Triforce Heroes. Uh, basically, uh, you, you you can basically are playing as the three links and get to the end. Mm -hmm. Three links are there three Zeldas? Yeah. Basically, Triforce Heroes is a spiritual sequel to the Four Swords Four duology. Swords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just as a strong point, yeah. basically the fact that we're four different links. In this case, it's just three. The poor purple link is just missing, I guess. Basically, the, the, mm -hmm. the, sto the story of the the story of the Four Swords uh, games is that uh, there's this, a brand new sword, uh, not uh, called <laughs> Four Four Sword, and anyone who touches it gets divided into four uh, people, each one representing a facet of that person's uh, qualities and stuff. You know that kind of stuff. So what happened to the fourth person in this equation? Um, uh, he, 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 um, he got involved in contract disputes again. So. Oh, oh, you, uh, in Triforces, it's the same concept. The only difference is that it's three instead of four, really. My guess is that oh, okay. the story will probably explain the fourth guy's absence. If, especially if it's a maybe sequel. Just <coughs> oh, I don't know, maybe he got lost on the way to filming. Filming? <laughs> Twins, it's a game, not a movie. It fell down pits here. Jova, do you remember there were there were the days where you do film stuff for games? Yeah, I know, but this is days of Wing really Commander that... and Command and Conquer, even. I know that, but this isn't. I mean, well, Triforce ain't exactly that kind of game. Uh, now, I'm gonna disagree with maybe you there, if, Whips. I mean, yes. Now maybe if it's something like Twilight of... Princess, maybe I would buy into uh, the whole filming thing. But Triforce or Heroes or stuff, Four but... Swordsman, nah. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, this, I'm gonna disagree with you. Yes, Wing Commander had a lot of F FFMV, but it also had plenty of gameplay. I mean, it's not like it's it's Phantasmagoria or something. No, no, like I'm that. just saying they used them for cut. They, they used them for cutscenes more often than they did using animated graphics. Oh, okay. Well, considering the limitations at the time, it's understandable. Yeah, I mean, how? I mean, uh, for, as far as as far as I'm aware, the first game to really use its in-game engine to use cinematics was Metal Gear Solid 1. I mean, hell, so, even e Command & Conquer even kept the whole FMV thing going to like the fourth game in 2010. There we go, one more mystery mushroom. Anyway, hey. <laughs> Even in 2010, they were still using live-action cutscenes. Anyway, basically, to clarify what I was saying Actually, about... the new Remedy okay. game, Quantum Break, is going to use them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, so this is Arino Maker, a, co a course created by Arino Kacho from a very popular Japanese video game variety show, Game Center CX. Basically, he's a huge Mario fan, so he made this course where he says, there's more than one route to the end, so try to stick them all out. Okay, I why, like this uh, kind of... huh? Why are some games actually featuring live cutscenes these days? Uh, well, uh, it does a... look nice, and it does uh, uh, provide for some recent wasn't there a recent RTS that used uh, live-action cutscenes uh, in one of the actors was Tim Curry? 
Yeah, yeah, Command and Conquer. That was Red Alert Three. Because the only because I don't because I don't really play so many realistic games. The only reason I can actually come up with why they're using it is to avoid the fact that realistic looking games kind of do age among the worst. Yeah. It depends, depends, uh, on which game you're, depends on which realistic game you're talking about. Something like Uncharted ages better because they stylize the graphics. Something like Metal Gear Solid uh, ages Oops. better. Yeah. Uh, something like Metal Gear Solid uh, is, um, ages much better because of the artistic direction of Yoshin Shinka, which is much more like a Western comic book than anime. Uh, and, or, or, or even David Cage style graphics. So it depends on the game. I, I guess okay. in case of like some live action stuff, it's like, well, it does look very neat. And, and it can be used in an artistic sense. It sort of gives you um, a Wait, sense oh. of the character that you're playing as. Yeah, I mean, it I go... It tends to vary. It's like, well, I mean, it can be well done in cases like <laughs> Last of Us or Bioshock. As and then it can be done in silly ways like uh, <laughs> Heavy Rain. No way you yeah. managed to survive. Basically, Shiroi, back in the early, back in the mid '90s, when CD technology came about, that was the cool thing to insert FM, live action FMV and stuff, uh, because it was it looked so. <laughs> no star back for you. As, as Spoonie pointed out in his FMV Hell thing, uh, back then it was so awesome and such a novelty to see full motion video in our computers that, you know, it was uh, nobody really cared if the games were good or not. But then the novelty wore off and, yeah, the games kind of mm -hmm. stopped using it. But then some other games kind of brought that back uh, in some fashion. Command and Conquer, Wing Commander. You know, I can... This Wing Commander was part of that mid-90s uh, FMV craze. Yeah. You can tell that I... Um, grew up mostly on the new Super Mario series because those will get you down a uh, sequence back there. I'm wondering why you weren't wall jumping. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for my, st my stance is like when it comes to every type of game, every genre, every style, there's always the good and there's always the bad. To say that one particular style or particular genre is all bad, that's just uh, naive. But I didn't say yeah. that. No, I mean, no, I'm not talking about you specific. I'm talking about, you oh, know, okay. you're, you're not the only one who thinks like that. There are a lot of people who are like, ooh, realistic games are so crap and bled and stupid. Blah, 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 blah. I think sure so, I they're not crap and stupid. Things. I was just curious. I yeah. know, I know. I'm I just saying there are good ones and there are bad ones. That's, that's basically my point. I think that was sort like, of Shiroi's think... idea. It's like, well, and the difference is like, well, with Shiroi, I mean, well, she hasn't really grown up with them. She's more so just curious about the overall quality of them as opposed sure, to sure, sure. questioning it. Any anyway, you, basically, any you basically, like I oh. said, this course is basically all about uh, Twitch reflexes. Yeah. Anywho, but yeah, basically, That's going back to what I was speaking about the military, I wasn't speaking about just Call of Duty alone, but Call of Duty can occasionally help, but there are other shooter games that do it better. And there we go. There's also the fact that video games are apparently a good way of therapy to help the soldiers uh, calm down and stuff, which I definitely can see. I think it was Tio who also knows who this guy is, but Josh Scorcher. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, Josh he's, Scorcher. Um, he was in the Marines. Was he? <laughs> no, no, he's still even though he's oh. just a trumpet, oh. uh, mu the musician or something because he. Never mind. Played but, yeah, he, he, play, he played games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That reminds, yeah. Me. I, so. that reminds me. I actually tried the PlayStation VR uh, at Lisbon Games Week, and it was okay, I guess. Like, uh, like, uh, uh, like, I'm still waiting for the t for the time where we will actually have VR missions. Could you, imagine, <laughs> could you imagine, like, could you imagine, like, Mario VR or something? I don't know. Okay, so this course also made by uh, the same guy, which, which, um, from the the game show. I love uh, how there's an Arino Kachino uh, suit. Yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, so basically. Uh, it's all about the stars. Basically, you have to find the stars of invincibility. Otherwise, you're not getting through here. There you go. You okay. didn't try to look at any of those question marks, huh? Okay. Well, I, I kind of should take advantage of the invincibility period instead of Franklin. Well, yeah, I mean, well, for all you know, those Trust could me. be your means of survival. Those stars could be in there. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Like, like, I, like I said, like... Why aren't yes, you getting you, the you, mushroom? You... There, I got the fire oh. flower, Happy. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> survival of the fittest, but yeah. Anyway, uh, well, there's not really much point anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. see, there we go. I'm done with the enemies now, see? Uh, getting that fire flower was pointless in, uh, uh, when in all Guys, I think we should go right. Actually, Dwibs, believe it or not, he's actually gonna try to trick you. Believe it or not. Oh? 
See? Uh, there was the, okay, now there's an arrow down. Okay, let's go down then. Oh! No. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't over yet. <laughs> There you go. See, there, see, there you go. He was tricking you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of fun kind of dickish. Exactly. <laughs> and you got one up. Oh. Oh, excuse me, Mamma Mia, but I can't run in water. Leaves. <laughs> only uh, remember, Dwebs. Only Charles Martinet gets a pass. <laughs> well, isn't he Italian American anyway? No. Is he? Is he too? I don't know. I'll we'll look know. that up in another is, is part. The, is the name Martinet uh, Italian? Not really. Ah, okay. See you, everybody. Bye. See ya.